summits of this nature can be held here in Mogadishu is a clear sign of the progress the government and the people of Somalia have made towards establishing peace and stability not only here in Mogadishu but in Somalia. That despite the challenges, we are moving and heading in the right direction and ours is to continue to assure our brothers and sisters in Somalia, our neighbors, that Kenya stands in solidarity with you, that we shall work together to ensure peace, security and stability because the long-term wish is for us to be able to be here, not to discuss issues of security, but rather to discuss issues of economic cooperation, trade that will bring prosperity to the peoples of our two countries. So therefore, this is my first visit. My brother, it will not be the last. We shall uh, be here again. Ours is just to encourage the people of Somalia, indeed as you head towards your uh, elections. But these elections should be peaceful. These elections should bear the will of the people of Somalia and for you to know that you can count on our brothers and sisters. Lastly is to say that without a doubt, President Sheikh, you have made great progress and great strides. Mine really is to encourage the Somali diaspora from across the world to really come back and be part of building the new Somalia. Somalia is becoming peaceful. Mogadishu is peaceful. Terrorism, <laughs> terrorism is a factor that faces all of us. We in Mogadishu, in Nairobi, in Paris, in Brussels. But we must have the confidence to be able to look to the future and the confidence to know that we shall ultimately win our fight against these small elements who seek to create division and destruction across the world. So mine is to encourage people, foreign investors, development partners, let us support this government, let us support the people of Somalia, let us support them in their efforts to rebuild what was once a great country. Thank you very much and God bless you.